Hello and welcome to another episode of The Property Show. We continue exploring the Nakuru County real estate investment opportunities available in the residential market. We kick off with Milimani Apartments, set in a prestigious, convenient address. These apartments are modern and practical. They are a good buy and a great investment too. We will also take a look at the preferred weekend destination, Hotel Waterback. Our conversation with the county government continues. The accessory spot brings the one-stop shop for your home finishes and fixtures, Lavan Building Paradise. Kenya Power is in Nakuru County too for the last mile connections. We shift gears on our home ownership segment as we hear an inspiring renting experience. The property gallery highlights a selection of properties in every price range. Stay tuned for all this and much more. Your property site starts right here. Remember, there is something for everyone. In the heart of Nakuru, we find Milimani Apartments, a one-of-a-kind estate in a prestigious, convenient address. These apartments are modern, practical, and very popular. Phase one is complete and fully sold out. Sales are ongoing on phase two. Let's have a look. Melimani Apartments is a modern affordable housing project in Akuru town. This development, which is currently on its second phase, comprises of 96 three-bedroom apartments and 59 five-bedroom missionettes. For the three-bedroom apartments, accommodation includes spacious lounge come dining area, a large kitchen with a pantry, master bedroom ensuite, two bedrooms with a shared bathroom. For the missionettes, accommodation includes spacious living come dining area, large kitchen with a pantry and dobe area, guest bedroom, one common washroom, three ensuite bedrooms on the upper level, semi-detached servants' quarters, two parking slots, garden and a terrace. Salient features include swimming pool, gym, clubhouse, convenience store, cabra paved driveways and 24-hour security service. on future investment opportunities. Let's talk about the master plan and are you zoning some areas that will be taking care of apartments, single dwelling, commercial space? What is your position in very, that Very true, Nancy, because what we have realized as a county government, we really have to, uh, to take uh, responsibility, we have to provide leadership in terms of uh, how now our, our county is to take shape, particularly the city of Nakuru and uh, Naivasha. We realize that um, in the spirit of entrepreneurship, everybody now coming up with, uh, with the development of housing estates and the residential and also a business uh, infrastructure. Our role as a county government was, is now to really take the lead and uh, ensure that uh, our space is properly planned mm -hmm. uh, so that we don't have a uh, haphazard kind of, uh, of buildings, development uh, yes. buildings. So as an initial step, and that one has been one of our key projects uh, in this county, is to come up with what we call a special, spatial plan. Uh, of course, partial plan basically means to plan for the space. Mm -hmm. A master plan, uh, which uh, has already taken a very good dimension, is in advanced stage. And uh, this plan has spelled out very clearly 
in terms of uh, what we have called the zoning. It has uh, spelled out uh, very clearly uh, where business uh, centers uh, uh, should be, uh, where should the satellite towns for Nakuru be, uh, be situated, uh, where should we have schools, uh, where should we have uh, uh, churches, where should we have uh, a university. And uh, I can assure you what we have come up with uh, is a real uh, master plan uh, which uh, our people are taking ad advantage of so that at the end of the day we come up with a, with a well-planned uh, uh, county because we have not confined ourselves only to Nakuru uh, uh, municipality but this one affects also Naivasha and all the other centers uh, we are planning for them. For example, Mor Moro which used to be an urban council uh, is now a very big center coming up. Uh, um, Olegurweni, uh, for instance, Obagon, Subukia, uh, Rongai, Giogio, all those are now very big uh, urban centers. And uh, we are lucky that now we are planning for them and we have the master plan in place so that the development take uh, a much more uh, professional and organized shape. We head off to the Hotel Waterback, a luxurious place, capturing the hearts of local and foreign guests. I must say, I enjoyed staying at this hotel. The rooms are spacious, the beds are very comfortable, they have a wide selection of food, a great swimming pool. After a long day, you can enjoy your drink on the terrace and it is in the CBD, a perfect location. I guess that's why it's the preferred weekend destination. Hotel Waterbark is a five-star hotel located in Nakuru of the Great Rift Valley of Kenya, about 160 kilometers from Nairobi. The operations of the hotel started off in 1985. Basically, it's just providing quality and affordable accommodation. And uh, that's what we have built on over the years. Although there's been changes in the, in the demands and that has come with a lot of things, but um, it's basically been providing you know, quality accommodation at affordable prices. That's where we're here today. The management have taken this project as a very personalized project and a lot of effort has been put into the team at every level, exposing them to different opportunities, different facilities, so that actually the team at Autobahn knows exactly what's happening outside there, the emerging technologies, the emerging designs and fashions and the emerging needs of the customers. That's what has kept us where we are. And it's all been very personalized. The principle behind it is that we don't want to be like the rest. We, you know, we want to be ahead. When the founder of the, of the company, there is the organization, it was basically a bed and breakfast facility which had 30 rooms. And uh, that has been developed into now, we can say we the whole spectrum in the, in the hospitality industry. We are able to cater for conference tourism, which is our emerging big business. We are able to cater for the local tourists and uh, the domestic tourists, and uh, we are able to fit any of the guest requirements. Being a conference tourism facility, we have 11 state-of-the-art halls with all the latest audiovisual facilities in place. And to support that, we have to make sure that, actually ultimately, when the guest comes to our hotel, they come to do a particular thing, and most of the time we spend in the halls, in the conference halls. So we make the halls as comfortable as possible, as spacious as possible. We have halls ranging from a capacity of 600 seating to small boardrooms. And to support that, we have five dining facilities. We have bars, you know, business centers, anything that goes with supporting the, the purpose of the guests being with us. If you look at it from the geographical aspect, Nakuru is 160 kilometers from Nairobi, 160 kilometers from Nyeri, 160 kilometers from Eldred, 180 kilometers from Kisumu. So it's actually in the center of Kenya. Now, if you look at the old administrative regions, the eight provinces, Nakuru actually proved to be the center of the eight centers. So we could actually pull people together for meetings, and it's also on the Trans Africa Highway. So it offers every potential, any opportunity that you require. 
you know, to survive in this market, you have to realize that, you know, you have to accommodate everybody that wants to come out. And um, ultimately, even if the different packages are there, but they are all pegged on quality. It does not mean that if you stay in a, in a lesser room, that you get a lesser service. The service is all the same. And you have to notice the customer's needs, and the customer's wants, and the customer's pockets. And we should not be pegged on a particular niche and say, this is my market niche. We have to be, we have to be all inclusive. And that works out with the high season, the low season. You know, Nakuru County is a place to be for everything, for your, as in your program, for the housing, for the tourism. We have Mara down the road, we have Lake Nakuru here, Lake Naivasha here, Lake Bogoria, Elementator. And um, the SGR is coming to our county here, it's going to be stopping at Naima here, which is not so far, it's within the county. So Nakuru is a place to be. Next, a conversation with the Minister for Environment on keeping the county clean. While in the Nakuru County, we caught up with the Minister of Environment, Natural Resources and Energy, Karibu Sana on the show. Thank you, and uh, let me also start by welcoming you to Nakuru, uh, Madam Nancy Muthoni. I'll talk specifically on environment. Environment, the status of environment is very difficult, and our uh, environment issue is a very broad component, and uh, you can't separate environment from any other development. But when we came into being as a county government of Nakuru, under the leadership of uh, His Excellency Governor Honorable Nudia Mbogwa, the first thing that we thought it wise for us in Nakuru is to restore it back to its uh, status, to become clean, as it used to be. We remember when we were in schools, all of you, you there was this saying that Nakuru is the cleanest in Eastern Central Africa, and uh, the governor himself thought it's very wise to do that. So first, we had to organize the town, we had to organize the way business is done. Our traders who are hooking with their hardware and the rest, we had to move them out of, outside the CBD or uh, the most important streets like Kenyatta Avenue and the rest. And uh, we set aside a place for them where they can do that kind of business. After that now, we were able to make sure that every street is clean, every estate is clean, and to ensure that we work with our business community to ensure that their buildings are also smart, they do their regular painting as per the law. So as a county government, we have maintained this town and we are restoring it slowly by slowly. So we are working with other stakeholders to ensure that everything is in order. We have our staff on environment who normally wakes up very early in the morning, probably from 5 a.m. Some of them are on the street because by 6 or by seven, the vehicles will have been packed on the streets, so it's not easy for them to clean the street. And uh, we have also a dustbin at strategic places where those people who have litter, so they want to throw a paper or something like that, they can easily access those litter bins. So that's what we do in the, in the street. But in the estates, uh, we have partnered. And uh, last week, I launched a partnership between CPOs and this county government of Nakuru realizing that uh, we have major cities in Nakuru. We have Nakuru, we have Naivasha, we have Molo, Gilgil, Aati, Subukia, Ulungurwani, and many others. So we realize we cannot do as a county. We zone these towns, like in Nakuru, we have several zones, over 10 zones, so that we give this business to our CPOs. We have youths, we have women, and they have organized themselves and registered themselves and they have lorries or tractors to ferry the solid waste or uh, the garbage, the dump site. So they normally do that and uh, we are enforcing as a county and they charge small fee, uh, homeowners or residents of those estates. So I've learned a lot about environment and I know what it means to environment and development. You know, like investors, if the environment is not conducive, you not get these investors. But when the environment is clean, we have received several several investors 
from abroad, different countries trying to come and see how we, we can work together as Nakuru County, probably developing estates like the way I understand some of you are interested because we provide water also in those estates, very clean water, that we ensure that the estates are very clean. So if you develop a very good apartment or something like that, you will not lose your money, you will have rightfully invested. Our last mile connections continues. Nime Anzisha Katika constituency he kazi ya kuunganisha wananchi na stima hapa nakuru 2013 tulikuwa na watu 1120 ambao walikuwa wameunganishwa na stima kwa miaka mitatu tumewaunganisha watu 1201 sasa tuko na watu 1300 na 21 ambao tumewaunganishia stima na kuru. Kwa mama Rebecca wadogo wapo. Eh huyo mama Njuguna aliniambia anaitwa mama Njuguna. Nimeenda kwake asubuhi leo na tukaunganishia yeye stima kuanzisha. Alinipatia uji akanipatia metundo. <laughs> eh nikajienjoy sana huko kwake huyu mama sasa nikamwambia huyu mama unajua zamani watu wale watu walikuwa wanapatiwa stima ni wale wadosi mheshimiwa marafiki ya mheshimiwa watu wadosi wadosi kama mimi kama Kimani Ngojiri hapa na Kenodia lakini sasa tumeamua hasla na mama mboga na safara hata na hao pia wapatiwe stima Jo nikaambia sasa huyu mama Njoguna huyu hata yeye sasa sasa yeye ni kama mimi tu wakati mimi nawakisha stima kwangu hata yeye anawakisha stima kwake Si namna hiyo Eh ile taa ile ya zamani ilikuwa inaitwa nini Inaitwa nini kwa inaitwa Eh kanyitera hiyo Sasa mambo ya kanyitera amewachana naye sawa unaweza kete Pia tuko na mpango ingine ya kuhakikisha kwamba tunaweka stima katika town zile kubwa kubwa ndio biashara iendelee. Hapa na Kuru Town tunaweka street lighting. Na tumewatengea pesa shilingi milioni 255 ya kuweka street lighting kuanzia Naivasha Town tutaweka Gilgil Town hata kikope ile mahali ya kuuza nyama hapo nataka kuweka street lighting hapo ndio nyama hiyo iendelee kabisa iuzwe nyama hapo na nakuru town na molo na olenguruane hizo town zote tutawawekea street lighting na nia yetu ya kuweka street lighting katika town hizi ni ili tuwe na 24 hour economy ndio tuzalishe uchumi watu tuondoe umaskini tuwe na mali ndio Kenya hii iweze kwenda eh, nafasi ya kwenda mbele Si kulipa ni kupewa ni kupewa tu. Nilikuwa natumia kanyitera. Kwa siku mia moja Kwa sababu niko na watoto wana walikuwa nasoma, washosho, hivyo. Ni macho. Eh, na pesa ni kulima hapa kwa shaba. Mimi sina kazi na sina mtu wa watoto tu wakiweda kazini ku, ku, wagina kushunga hivi wananiwacha hapa kwa hapa kwa nikirima hiyo ndio ninapataga pesa 
nataka kutumia kwa kwa TV nitumie kwa kwa bom, kwa nini kwa hii nyumba ya busi sangu Mother gets up early for another working day Na kama Tony she has to make her way Huko Kisumu the nets are almost ready Kazi Kenya Lines is going real steady Na huko Pwani there's business to be done both for Mama Amina and for John Ingawaji wakati mwingine things don't always work out the way we want them to Tunajua just how hard it is to work in the dark of night but the future is looking brighter of that you can be sure popoto ulipo nchini kenya na chochote ufanyacho you can be sure kenya power is there working hard just like you kenyans supply the energy we supply the power Power continues to brighten lives. Connect with them through their social media platforms and have your queries answered. We visit the one-stop shop for all your finishes and fixtures in this region, Lavan Building Paradise. Love and Building Paradise is your one-stop shop when it comes to your decor. With a wide selection of products ranging from lighting, flooring, exterior and interior decor. This is your one-stop solution floor for all your interior finishes. What do you find at Love and Building Paradise? When you're building your home and you've finished your shell, we'll start by basic things. When you need your lighting done, that is from your switch to your light, your decorative lighting, that is what you'll find here. When you're looking at your floors, we have options from the laminate, which is a big hit in the market. We have the cushion vinyl, which you're standing on. Can you feel the difference? Yes. yes Very yes. warm in your bedrooms. Yes. Uh, we have the ceramic tiles that you could use in your bathrooms, in your patio, in your terraces. We have all those options that you can work with on your floors. When we come to your walls, we have solutions like finishing on the walls. We have people who just love putting tiles on their facade. We have that. Uh, when we talk of lighting, we have different kinds of lighting. Whether it's your wall bracket, the regular wall bracket that you're looking at, we have that. Whether it's your down lighter that you're looking at, we have all that. Go outdoor. We even have things just to help you light up your compound. Are you having a party? Do you want to cut your cost on KPLC? This is the place to be because we can actually analyze your project, project on project basis, and be able to offer you advice on your lighting. So come to the doors. We have waterproof doors. We have internal doors that are beautiful, like molded, and you can be able to choose from. Security is a concern for everyone. Mm -hmm. So what would you be looking at? I'd be looking at my high security door. Mm -hmm. I'd be looking at um, like a very good panic lock. So we have the locks, the hinges, the doors, as a total whole shell. Mm -hmm. Let's go to your kitchen. Nancy, what would you be looking at for your kitchen? Beautiful kitchen tops. Perfect, this is the place. Wow. We have the marble tops that wow. you can go for. We have granite. Apart from that, we have nice cabinets. Um, if you want your kitchen complete, I would have everything that would go in your kitchen, from the accessories, just the organizers inside your drawer. And in Nakuru, we are the only ones doing that. So whether you're in Naivasha, Nakuru, all the way to Eldoret, this is I'd the be place able for to you. Serve you. Yes. And do you work with in-house interior designers? Yes, we have three interior designers, me being one of them. And we have another two, so who will actually come to your project, analyze your project, and offer you the solution that you need. Mm -hmm. Whether it's a commercial project, mm -hmm. I have the answer for you. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So let's see the rest of the shop. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. 
Now, are you looking at this table, Nancy? Yes. Where would you put it in your home? Wow. Outdoor table? Yes. Mm -hmm. This, you'd probably put it outdoor. We designed these tables custom made just for you. Wow. We are working with other designers where we are able to design these tables to suit your need. Is uh -huh. it for your home? Is it for your hotel? Mm -hmm. This is the table that anyone should have in their it project. It's different. It's different. It has character. Look at it. Yeah. This is a table. Once you buy this, Nancy, your neighbor doesn't have to have it. It's mm -hmm. just meant for you. Mm -hmm. Look at the chairs. One chair is different from the next one. Yes, yes. So are you looking for a four-seater? Are you looking for a frame for your picture? Or just a frame just to put in a painting that you did? Or a little bit of kanga in it? This is the kind of art that you'd get. Nancy, welcome to our lighting world. Uh -huh. So we have decorative lighting, uh -huh. depending for your sitting room, for your bedroom, anywhere that you'd want proper lighting. Is it ambient lighting? Are you looking for mood lighting? Those little nice switches that dim. You know those yes. ones that, that people like? Yes. It doesn't have to be a disco light, you know, eh? <laughs> it can work still well. So we have all that kind of lighting. So we have this kind of lighting that you can put in a recessed ceiling. Of course, you know the rave. Right mm -hmm. now, everybody wants a gypsum ceiling. So with a gypsum ceiling, you need something that will tell a story with it. Mm -hmm. So you can have such recessed lighting. Mm -hmm. We have all these options that you can choose from. Mm -hmm. But most of all, I'm looking at your pocket. Yes. Do you want to break the bank? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I have LED concepts for you. Mm -hmm. We have outdoor LED lights. Mm -hmm. We have something for your garden. Mm -hmm. I can help you flood your garden eh? when you're having that party. Mm -hmm. When I'm dancing in my heels, mm -hmm. it's all lit up. Wow. That's what I have for you. Mm -hmm. So we have all these options that you can choose from mm -hmm. and we'll help you save money. Mm -hmm. We can come to your project. Are you doing an apartment? Are you doing just your home? Are you doing a hotel? Whether it's an existing one or a new one, I have this option for you. I will come as a consultant using my interior design background as well as what we call the energy consultancy forum that we formulated, we will come analyze your power utility and be able to advise you on how you can cut your costs. If you're looking for interior design tips in this region, look no further. Visit Love and Building Paradise for that touch of style and elegance to your space. Coming up, and Mololine leading by example, we are expecting to offer the high quality of services uh, to our clients. The first three months, I'd actually cry every day. I wanted to go back. And it reached a point my husband thought, maybe you should just go back because you're actually suffering. But slowly, I adapted. After the break, don't go away. Welcome back. Mololine services are ahead of the park, bringing a new face to the Matatu sector. Let's hear more. Molo Line is uh, not only Chateau, we have a 14 seater and we have the Chateau uh, branch. Eh? The operations of this uh, company entails uh, several things. One, the systems of the vehicles, uh, making sure that all vehicles are in good condition. Uh, the drivers, making sure that all have what is required by the government. And also the system of the staff, what uh, staff do on a daily basis. We have uh, a fleet management that uh, controls all our vehicles. Number one, the speed movement. Number two, the fuel system controlled in one center. And we have a team that uh, we have put in place to ensure that uh, they are checking. In line with the government requirements, we, we all know that all Matatus are supposed to operate at a speed of 80 kph. And uh, because of that, we are told, or the government has insisted that we have a fleet management that controls that. Anytime they need to ask any question, they can directly ask and you give them prompt information. 
Like even last week, as late as last week, we had a, a training with AA for road safety management and also first aid, a three-day exercise. And also for um, our team of staffs, we also train them in customer care and uh, operations that they are, they are supposed to offer on a daily basis to, to our clients. We have a new property here. We are opening it in November. Um, it is one of its kind. I don't think uh, in Kenya we have any other for the Matatus. And Mololine leading by example, we are expecting to offer the high quality of services uh, to our clients. It is a system like uh, the way we do in the airports. Uh, when you look, all the security apparatus are in place and we want to ensure that the safety of our customers is number one and number two, to give them what uh, they have asked for because we also have a liaison with them to ask them what they want, what they think we should uh, do, improve in which areas. And one thing that they have asked is for the better our services and this is what we are giving them. I have a job in Mororain Chato. Mororain was 14 seater and 10 seater. So I have a 10 seater as a driver. I have a friend. Juu mimi ni mama, kulikuwa na mama wengine hapo mbele lakini wametoka lakini bado najikakamua. Na furahia there are challenges. Juu saa zingine kama kuna TLB mara mbili, kuna gari ziko na TLB ya usiku na kuna gari hazina. Hii yangu iko na TLB ya usiku. So nikipata passage hata kama nikutoka Nairobi hata 9. Okay, kwa da na kuru it take 3 hours. Juu tuko na governor so na imagine nikitoka 9 itakuwa nitafika kitu saa sita. Okay as a woman unaenda tu juu unakutana na matulera, unakutana na motorbike ni usiku but ukiwa steady na ukiwa sober in your mind na kuweka Mungu mbele you will make it. Naweza ambia wamama kazi ni kazi. Hakuna kuchagua kazi. Huwa tunakumbukaga former president Mwaike Baki alikuwa anasema kazi ni kazi, chague kazi. Bora, unakula, unarisha, kuliko kusubua watu. So, haijalishi. Wacha niogea bali ya moro la inishato juniko na moro la inishato. Eh, Shiamanu yetu ni mzuri sana. Na ameweka hii kampuni. Uwa anafanya meeting. Like, once in a year, tu, anatuita before Christmas. Anatuchijia, alafu anatuwa device. Anatuambia, tutuwa kwa driver, we have to be keen with the signs kama ni pahali pa meandi kwa 50 km palawa slow down wende 50 ju uki mess up una mess up via kampuni so nafurahia moro line kama gari yangu haina conductor although niko na na barua yenye inasimamia huna conductor so hata kama ni customer anashuka wewe ndio una, unatoka unafungua boot unamfungulia anashuka you don't pick on the road at mtu ameshuka tena unaanza kutafuta watu Na uwa watu wakibuku, ukibuku kama ni sit tuna kuplisavia juu, gali zetu zinaeda na, na sit, ziko kumi from one, two, three, up to ten. Saa mtu wakisema city seven, nikitoka kwa ofisi na wacha iyo city seven, kama kwa fifty eight, naenda fifty eight na mpik, saa tunaenda. So, uwa tunabio we pay the, the rule, na sisi madriver lazima uwe na kila kitu, license varied, PSV varied, kila kitu juu ya polisi kwa ajili Next rental experience While in Nakuru, we caught up with Caroline on her inspiring home ownership story. Thank you so much, Caroline, for having us in your house. You're welcome. And who is Caroline? I am a uh, mother of two and uh, married to one husband, Billy Awili. Basically, a bubbly person, uh, someone who likes meeting new people every day. That's what I'd say about myself. Uh, it's been a journey to getting here where we are and we aspire to get uh, further than this. And you know, being a young couple, we know we have to start from somewhere. And coming to Nakuru was not an easy task because 
it was something we had not planned for. So when my husband was transferred here, we had to come quickly and we settled for this place. Yes. So how did you pick this place? We got this house through an online advert because we didn't have time to come to Nakuru and move around looking for homes. So my husband came and confirmed it was true and we ended up here. Yes. And then how was the process of renting? Uh, after seeing the house online, my husband came here the next day mm -hmm. and on seeing that the house was genuine, he just paid for the rent immediately mm -hmm. and moved here the following day. How is your neighbourhood given that it's got so many people living in this neighbourhood? I'd say it's, it's a good place because one, it's secure and secondly it's a place where you can have your children play out there without you having to worry. It is safe and uh, with a lot of children so that's an advantage to our children. So and again, children get so many people to play with. And the facilities here, you know, we have a swimming pool, mm -hmm. they have the slides. I think they can get in their home, I think it's an advantage to them. Mm -hmm. You know, there are so many people who are in Nairobi and wondering, how did you come to Nakuru? Now you're happy here and uh, you've gone back to school. Your husband is doing well in his job. How has that change been? Well, I'd say it was very difficult. Uh, the first three months, I'd actually cry every day. I wanted to go back. And it reached a point my husband thought, maybe you should just go back because you're actually suffering. But slowly, I adapted. That's when I went back to school, got friends, got to know my neighbours. Because when we moved here, these houses, a lot of them didn't have people. Like we were the first people to come to this house. So people moved in, we got friends. Then we settled down. Uh, you know, when we came to Nakuru, a lot of my friends, especially in school, were very surprised. How do you live in Milimani? I hear you pay rent 30,000, that's a lot of money. But you know, compared to Nairobi, honestly, uh, three bedrooms in South Bia used to live would go for about 45 to 50. So me paying 30 here to me was, I'd say, very cheap compared to what other people thought. And uh, life in Nakuru is actually very cheap in terms of, uh, let's say, if you're using matatus, transport is very cheap, town is here. I can put 200 shillings in my car, go to town and come back. Because the distance, there's no traffic. That I'd say is a plus for what me. What about food? Definitely, you cannot compare the prices of food here in Nairobi. Because mm -hmm. like, if you look at the price of potatoes here in Nairobi, you'd be surprised. Mm -hmm. Like, when my family comes here, they say, where well, don't you know? Because everything is affordable. There in Nairobi, things are expensive. Food is quite of a reasonable price here. Somebody watching you today and wondering if they were to move in a smaller town, how that experience would be, what would you advise them? First of all, I would not lie to you, is that moving is not easy. Because especially if you're coming from a town where you've lived all your life, you're living behind your family, your friends, you feel like you've actually traveled abroad. Because you start afresh, it's difficult for your children. Personally, I'd watch my child outside the window, walking and looking at children, coming back and saying, mommy, no one is talking to me. Mm -hmm. It is not easy. But you know, the moment you adapt, try to look at things positively, like let's go to town and see how it looks like. Let's, let me take you to the swimming pool and meet parents who introduce you to their kids. Then life goes on, yeah. So what would you advise somebody? Uh, you can make it in life anywhere. It doesn't matter if you've lived in one town all your life, even if you move to a smaller town, make the best out of it. It's so easy to say, I moved from Nairobi to Nakuru. There are so many details that you need. You need somebody to pack your stuff, bring it all the way to Nakuru, unpack it, pay your rent, open up accounts for electricity, water. How was that? It was very difficult because uh, my husband was abroad for a very long time. And then about a week before he came back, he got an email that he had been transferred to Nakuru and he needed to come immediately. He landed in Kenya. So I started packing. I got my sisters, because I was eight months pregnant, of course very tired. We started packing things slowly by slowly. I put everything in the kitchen in a box because I wasn't cooking much. And yeah, we packed, so when he came, I, we got a car that brought our stuff here. He came alone, and I got here at night and left him. And you can imagine he'd never used these tokens for electricity. Mm -hmm. So he wondered, why is the light not coming on? And he put the bulbs, he had to sleep in the dark, then come back the following morning for me, then we came. Uh, you know when you move, putting things in place is very difficult, mm. especially the kitchen. Because you know here you just put seats, curtains and you're done. So the kitchen and bedrooms so where you have to put everything in the wardrobes is a little bit difficult. Mm. But it took around one week to settle. And here you are. And here I am. Thank you so much. Give us a final thought. 
Uh, I think women are strong generally because I've looked at women who are married for, to maybe policemen who you keep on moving from one house to another and you just have to adapt. And I think coming to Nakuru for me was an eye-opener. I got to meet people and being that Nakuru is a small town, I am proud to say that I am running for MCA in London Ward, Nakuru West County. And uh, with God, I believe that we are going to put more women in the assembly and take Nakuru to a better place. Do you feel like you have the masses to take you in, to vote for you? Uh, I feel like I'm getting there. You're getting there. Yes. So you're working towards it? I am working towards it. Wow. Yes. wow. We wish you all the best. Thank and you. And next time we meet, of course, you will be the MCA. Thank you. Asante sana. Okay. Would you like to share your journey? Just call on us and we'll be happy to engage. Next. Other properties available in Nakuru County. The Gulab Nevis Apartments are a modern apartment complex located in Hyrax off the Nairobi Nakuru Highway. It comprises 20 three-bedroom apartments ranging in size from 160 to 180 square meters. Features include classic finishes such as cornices and exquisite light fittings, a spacious living room with a balcony, dining area, American-style open-plan kitchen with fitted granite countertops, a cooker as well as adobe area. All bedrooms have inbuilt wardrobes with two rooms sharing the bathroom. Master bedroom is en suite with a walkthrough dressing area. The larger apartment has an additional room which can be a prayer room, office or study. Salient features include 24-hour manned gate with intercom to individual apartments, solar water heating system for every unit, perimeter wall and electric fencing, cover paving with two parking bays per unit and water storage provision. The price per unit is from 12 million Kenya shillings. A large bungalow in the heart of Milimani residential estate on Nandi Rise, Nakuru, set on 0.75 acres with mature gardens. Accommodation includes five bedrooms with two bathrooms, master bedroom ensuite, fitted kitchen cabinets with great finishes, garage for two vehicles and DSQ for two. Price on inquiry. Plot for sale. 1.1 acres, 2.5 kilometers from Nakuru CBD near Capitol Hill Hotel with excellent views of Lake Nakuru. Price on inquiry. your dream home, wondering where to begin when building or where to turn to when looking for professional advice. At First Avenue, we'll be glad to hold your hand every step of the way. Connect with us through our social media platforms or visit our offices. Thank you for watching The Property Show, where we turn your dreams into reality. Tune in next Sunday to see where the next prime address is tucked away. Your property search starts right here. As always, there is something for everyone. Kwaheri!